The following is a production of Phoenix Media. The views expressed do not necessarily represent those of the company or its advertisers and may contain language that's unsuitable for younger listeners. You know, out in Nevada near the silver mines, there's a kind heart. She's looking so fine, always taking care of her community, bringing folks together is her cup of tea. She's out on the road and all over the web with a big smiling heart. It's about town, Deb. And welcome to this week's episode of City Talk, and I am about town, Deb, Debbie McCarthy, your host. As you can see, I'm not in a normal place where I'm at. I am actually in Rail City's Casino in Sparks, Nevada. And I'm so excited to be with Todd DeRemmer. All right, the GM. So, That's awesome. So, you know, Todd is the man who's bringing the new Rail City to us all. And, you know, to, to do a cheers, we got to have a really, really, really good beer, don't you think? Absolutely, we do. So t- tell us what kind of beer we have, and then we're going to... Um, introduce adam here so we're gonna have which is on tap at both bars at real city some disco ninja so we're gonna disco it up right now cheers to adam cheers and we let's let's just do it here we go it was supposed to be making me feel like dancing always that's Mm. how you start playing blackjack off of cheers and a nice big gulp okay well before we play blackjack we're gonna introduce melody she is our Dealer, how do you say that? She's one of our dealer tainers here at Royal City Casino. Dealer tainers, that's what she is. Well, thank you, Melody, for helping us. So before we get started, we always like to thank our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we could not be doing this. So let's start off with with Gratis Gives Processing, Hall and Rye Plastic Surgeons, Rail City Casino Real City. and Sparks, Surratt Law Practice, Wilderberg Grill, and the Pioneer Center for Performing Arts. I also want to give a good shout out to Grandma B, my mom, and my Aunt Glenda. You know how people usually do a little wink? I just say shout out to them. Um, also, we hope you had a great Fourth of July weekend. What did you do, Adam, for Fourth of July? Well, my wife and I went with some friends up to uh, Soda Springs just outside of Truckee and rented a little house and just got away from the crowds. I like it. Did you take any beer with you? Uh, a lot of beer, many coolers full of beer. I like it. And Todd, what about you and your family? We, of course, were down in Victorian Square watching the fireworks. Where else would we be? Oh, good answer. Okay. Well, we've already done our cheers. And I, you know, I guess before I'm going to go to you for a moment, Todd. So how long have you been in Rail City and what is your vision for it here? Well, I've been at Rail City just under a year. I started last year, July 13th, today being my birthday, July 6th. Ah. I'm almost there, seven days away from my year at Rail City. Yeah. Thank you. And so, yes, we, we've come a long way with the vision of Rail City and really trying to create an environment that's great for gaming customers, great for dining customers. We have the new Ale House, lots of stuff we'll talk about later in the show. But as you can see a little bit behind us, we also remodeled the Ale House bar behind us. And we've just done a lot of refreshing with over 40 new slot machines and all kinds of stuff, including we brought black back brought back blackjack that's easy for me to say um we felt that to be a full service casino we really need blackjack so we have blackjack thursday friday saturday night 6 p.m to 2 a.m and so you can come down and have a lot of fun on blackjack well speaking about blackjack i have not played blackjack i don't know if i've ever played blackjack at a table i don't know maybe when i was 21 i don't know and i'm way past that now so melody why don't you deal us a hand and you know maybe you could give me a little bit idea of how i do this so you should place a bet in your spot right here well how, what, what are my chips on here? um i I'm would not, just i would just place four red unless what, you're feeling well, real lucky and then you can play some green well, what are, are four $20. what are my reds reds are five dollars okay it's 25 okay i place my bet let's do this Place the bets. Place the bets or place. All right, cards are coming out. Cards are coming out. Special no revision more cards coming. Come on, revision cards. Woo. Okay, oh, I there get this go. back. Right. Okay, here we go. And we got we an eight. Adam eight. has an eight. Seven. I have a seven. Let's see what's coming up. A queen. A queen. Oh, that's a good thing for you, Todd. Yeah. Uh oh, that's a good thing for you. Oh, that's not a good thing. It's close. 14. Okay. Uh oh, big Uh-oh, trouble here. The dealer has an ace. You have got 18. I, 
You oh. have a soft 18. I have a soft 18. And I have a 14. <sighs> oh, oh. Can don't, I? No, what? Don't take insurance. insurance. No insurance. No Get insurance. insurance. I, I always say to do that. I'm going to stay. Do I stay? You, I'm just, staying. Do I put later. hold? What do I do? Let's Tap? see what she has. First. Okay, let's see. So let's see what the dealer has. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. It okay, is. no blackjack. Oh. So now we proceed. Okay. Adam's going to stay. Uh, Deb, what do you um, suggest? I would say to stay. I'm staying. Stay. I'm not leaving this table. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit my 14. And oh, I have too many, so I busted. Okay, Maybe I'm staying. I the table. I'm staying. Yeah. So, I'm staying. At, okay. And then after we, you know, she I'm staying. Flip her card. She's flipping her card. So she has a soft Seven. Oh, that's so a good. She has to hit that. What that's do you mean? Good. What do you mean? She has to hit okay, it. Okay, let's go. So now she has 20. Oh, well, that, what? 21. Well, that's Typical not good. That killer. is not I good. Blame the <laughs> I blame the revision cards. I blame the revision cards. Oh, man. Okay. Well, listen, we have about a little bit less than um, two minutes left. So I'm going to go over here um, to Adam. What is it like? partnering with these guys how cool because they're using your beer and we the are. food oh, it's been a great partnership um since todd's come over we've uh, had a lot of great things uh happen in the last year um we're right across the train tracks on the other side on uh, rock boulevard and uh, we had a great uh, fourth of july giveaway with some of the disco ninjas we've partnered and gotten a lot more beer on tap in here and, and had a lot of their customers um just keep requesting more and uh, it's just a great partnership to work with someone in the community to uh, help build our brand and then help them bring in a different type of uh, customer that they might be looking for. Okay, well, I'm loving that. Um, before we go to break, I just want to say I want to thank Crystal Basin Sellers because this weekend we had a Deb's Day. I don't know whether you saw that. Anybody that ain't with Deb and anybody who wanted to be a Deb, they came out to Crystal Basin on Carson Road, and everybody picked, like, Devilicious. We had Man Deb. It was so much fun. We had a really good time. So I want to thank them. Um, oh, we also want to thank Jorinda's Chocolate and Hall and & Rye because they donated um, gifts to put on the prize wheel. So it was a lot of fun. Love going down to wine country. But it's that time again, guys. We are going to take a break, and we get back. Not only are we going to play another hand, we're going to be sharing about some amazing food that we have, and we get to sample some beer and food. So hang tight. It's about time to have a City Taco Bee. Right back. Don't miss all the fun and excitement at the New Rail City Casino. Play over 40 new hot penny slots, plus double down during the party at the Pit Blackjack every Thursday through Saturday from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. And join us for Bingo After Dark every Thursday through Saturday night for your chance to win up to 1,000 cash. When you've worked up an appetite, visit the new Ale House for delicious specials to tantalize your taste buds. Visit the new Rail City Casino today. New slots, new games, and more chances to win. Now more than ever, family matters, and Surratt Law Practice has your family in mind. Kimberly Surratt and her team have been helping maintain healthy families through their holistic approach to adoption and surrogacy, child custody, estate planning, and more for over 13 years. Your family law concerns are in caring hands with Surratt Law. Schedule your private consultation with a compassionate Surratt Law Practice team member today by calling 775-636-8200 or visiting LawyersForFamilies.com. Surratt Law, where family matters. That'll be $73.11. Do you have a charity that I can donate it up to? You just did. But I didn't select any option. It happened just by using your credit card. We recently changed our payment processing to Gratis Gives, who not only saves our company a ton of money on processing fees, but also donates a portion of every purchase to a participating local nonprofit. Why doesn't every business do that? If they switch to Gratis Gives like we did, they can. Achieve real social change by contacting Gratis Gives at 855-464-7284 or online at gratisgives.com. This is Mario Andretti. You know me as a race car driver, but I'm also a Meals on Wheels volunteer. I've raced against the sport's biggest personalities, but I've never met more vibrant, amazing people than the seniors served by Meals on Wheels. You can make a difference by dropping off a hot meal and saying a quick hello. So, America, let's do lunch. Volunteer your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. This message brought to you by Meals on Wheels America and the Ad Council. People been saying to your friend, get a different face. And posting on their feed, they're super ugly. The things they say to them online are cruel and they're not true. So tell your friend, I'll stand up for you. Don't worry, I know what to do. No, someone
from being bullied online, you can be a witness and make a difference by letting the world know it isn't cool and by letting your friend know you care. Learn more at eyewitnessbullying.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Hope you enjoyed your meal. And I just want to say, he's lucky to have a brother like you. Lucky? Caring for my brother is far from easy. But he's a part of me, like my arms and legs, so I'll be his. No time for tired. Nothing can disable this love. He needs me, but I'm the lucky one, even though I need help now and then. If you're caring for a loved one, visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Support for your strength. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. You're listening to Phoenix Media. Listen live and explore more great shows at phoenixmedia.us. She's out on the road and all over the web with a big smiling heart. It's about town, Deb. My town, your town, or any town, this is About Town Deb presents City Talk. Now back to the show. And welcome back to City Talk. I am About Town Deb, your host, Debbie McCarthy. And as you can see, if you're just joining us, I am at Rail City in Sparks, Nevada. I got Todd here. I got Adam here. We have Revision Beer because they're amazing at partnering. And I, I'm also excited because they use the beer in some of the recipes. But Todd here, you've been here. Oh, it's also Todd's birthday. So happy birthday. So I'm going to just 39. go. 30, 30. Oh, my gosh. Well, if you're 39, I'm at least 42. Anyway, we're excited to be here. Happy birthday. So since you've joined the team here, you have made some changes. Not you, your whole team, as in the food and what's happening. So I'm going to give you the floor now. Okay. I give you the pit. We're in the pit. Yes, we are in the pit. We're in so, the pit. So what we have is we have the pit where we play blackjack. We have um, the alehouse bar, which will be recently will be named or newly will be renamed the pit bar and we have the pit lounge behind us and we do specials in the pit bar and the pit lounge especially this past weekend we actually had a uh, hot dog at a high noon or hot dog and a tra- draft beer for wait 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 a hot, ba- hot dog and a who high noon what's a high noon high noon is a seltzer that's competitive with truly i think it tastes i better did not know that of course um so we had that this weekend you'll see most weekends we'll have hot dog and a draft beer for five dollars um a lot of our folks like to play past 10 p.m. That's when the ale house closes. So that's bar food we can serve at the bar. And if you want to keep gambling and go into late into the night, we'll have the hot dog and beer for you. We also changed the ale house menu and we've upscaled the menu. We have a brand new chef. I say new. He's been here four months. Uh, came from Las Vegas. His name is John. He's done a lot of great stuff. He has experience pairing food and wine and food and beer. So we kind of let him run with it. And he, can, he uh, took the revision beer. Um, we're using Disco Ninja in the actual brisket burger, which we have in front of us in the, uh, to smoke the brisket. We actually have revision beer in our sausage that we use, um, and we're using it in some of the rib recipes as well. So um, we're doing some creative stuff. We also have a food truck Sunday coming up on July 25th. We actually are going to do different types of ribs for that. Um, we're also going to have some other stuff coming up where we're going to have different types of revision beer and different types of um, barbecue sauce for ribs. You'll notice in front of Adam, we have a teriyaki bowl. That's brand new, early June. Hold that and up. You can get the teriyaki bowl. That happens to be with beef, but you can get it with chicken. You can get it with shrimp. And also new for us. Um, is tofu, so you can do a tofu oh, bowl also. Tofu. Um, those of us that don't eat meat all the time like to have tofu in our teriyaki bowl, so um, some of that stuff. We also have a portobello burger that's on oh, the menu. Oh, that, that is good. I got to tell you, that's good. It is. It's very new, and um, it's not a beef burger with a portobello on it. It's truly just a portobello mushroom that's so big. It's just like a burger and tastes great, as Deb said. So um, are you going to try some of this food, Deb? I guess I'm going to try it. What am I trying first? Um, I think you should try and take a bite. Okay, of that, that is so not fair. Okay, <laughs> okay, you want to move my my silverware? Yeah, this is good so luck, not Deb. fair. What the heck? Take a bite. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, guys, this is a little. You have a napkin ready? I do. Okay, I. Are you sure? I'm sure. This is kind of like ah. Okay, here we go. I've had it. Oh. <laughs> Mmm, that looks awesome. You can't even tell she took a bite. I did. You take a bite on that half. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it is so good. They're very good. Oh, you don't eat me. Okay, I'm gonna take one more bite. So while I'm taking a bite, keep chatting about what you want to share. 
So in addition to the food truck Sundays we're going to start doing, we're also doing something Friday nights. And the second and the fourth Friday of every month, we're going to actually do a DJ in the Hill House. Mm. And we're going to have different spring drink specials each week, as well as um, a bunch of food specials in there um, as well. So that's going to be exciting for us. That starts at 10 p.m. the second, fourth Friday every month. And we'll run till 2 a.m. And again, you can also get the hot dogs and everything else at that same time from the pit bar behind us. It's not polite to chew and talk, but... I would love you to tell us about your ribs. Okay. So that's a big deal. It is a big deal. So um, for those of you that don't know, we actually have a smoker on our patio. Um, the patio will be opening um, off the house on the other side. in Take September, most here. likely. Um, and the patio has a smoker, and we smoke our ribs here every day. John has a special recipe that he does, and we go through anywhere between 40 to 70 racks of ribs. A day, and um, the special is five ribs and a beer for five dollars. Okay, you, that's, beat you that. cannot beat that anywhere. We also have a cool special coming up soon, which is going to be a beer and a soft shell crab taco for five dollars. Watch for that in August or September to start hitting the streets, and you'll see that everywhere, just like you do the ribs. Um, we want to be known for ribs. We we've done it, and we've had them for almost a year. And we think that everybody loves the ribs. You keep selling more. And so we think the soft shell crab is another one of those things. We found it at a good price. And we felt, hey, we can offer a soft shell crab taco. Fun with a beer. And for five bucks, who doesn't want to come in and grab a quick meal for five bucks and hit the lucky slot machines? Okay, what about this? That is the teriyaki. Come on now. I am not the only one that's going to try this. Okay. Adam, Adam is going to try it too. <laughs> Here's a fork. I'm going to use my fingers. Just, it's okay. I want Adam, I want to see what Adam thinks. See how John did. Okay, you take a bite. That's a big bite. I'm taking broccoli. Oh, I <laughs> okay, this is amazing, guys. I just got to tell you. So this is the beef, right? That's the beef. Mm. That's super good. Don't the be taking it away. This is amazing. Yeah, super So fresh. tell us about this. It's not often so, you can get a bowl at a casino. So what we had, casino. we had a lot of feedback from our customers looking for dishes with rice. We didn't have any rice on the menu at all. And so we came up with a teriyaki bowl and... Um, we just put it on the menu. We didn't market it. We didn't promote it. And we started selling the heck out of it right away. You can go past the pit bar any given night, and you'll actually see people eating this at the pit bar because you can also order anything off the menu at the pit bar as long as the restaurant's open. So you get that. You can get the portobello burger. You can get the brisket burger. You can get any of that along with our world-famous ribs at the pit bar. Awesome. Okay. So what are your thoughts? I'm going to grab your fork. By the way, you have, I don't know where my, I think they don't want, they wanted me to just eat with my hands, I think. So, so tell yeah. us what your thoughts are. Uh, the teriyaki, the beef's incredible. It's very flavorful. It uh, tastes very fresh. Uh, I'd get that nine times out of 10 on a, on a lunch day for sure. And paired with Disco Ninja, the two together this is are perfect, perfect right? Yeah, John absolutely. nailed it when he put the beer with that food. So the beer is with both of these? Yep. Oh. Not, well, that not, was, not in the beer. No, I'm saying is that no, I, paired with the disco dish. Paired with the beer. Yeah. Correct. The beer is not in the dish. Itself. Well, I'm just saying you could have mixed the <laughs> beer with the teriyaki <laughs> sauce. I don't know. Did. I'm I'm <laughs> kind of, yeah. no, we didn't. We put it in a lot of stuff, but we did not put it in the teriyaki. Sauce. Okay. So what what is your favorite of, of the specials? Like late night specials? Because I know after when I've been out all night with friends and it's like 10, 11 o'clock, I really want to hit a, a drive through, which is not very healthy. So I need to, I'm just being honest. I should hit here. So um, wings are always good. Um, we do have buffalo cauliflower, which is kind of unique. That I like. Well. That I like. Um, our buffalo cauliflower has a little bit of beer in the batter as well. Provision, of course. But, um, yeah, those couple things are great. And then, obviously, um, we have a crab taco after 10 p.m. Oh, I've had that. That is so good. For $5 also. So that's the same one we're going to pair with the beer during the day. But at night after 10 p.m., you can get it for $5. Okay. Well, I think it's time to play a hand. Melody. Place your bets. Oh, I got up. Oh, where's my chips? They're here. Okay. I'm not. Wait. Oh, he, oh, he gave me extra chips. <laughs> Thank you. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. My bet's placed. All right. Here we go. Oh, six. six. Oh, I have, I have a queen. That's a ten. An ace. Oh, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, it's a jack. My eyes aren't very good. <laughs> oh, it's a jack? <laughs> Apparently, my eyes aren't very good either. Ooh. All right. I have, I have 17, guys. Ah. Uh, Hit me. 
Oh, we only waited because she had 21 oh, last dollars. time. Correct. So hold on now. So, isn't there a thing if it's 16? Oh, do you wait a minute? Do you teach this? We we do uh, get not necessarily give lessons. No, I, but, I mean, but our dealers will absolutely okay. teach people. As so I have 17. Are you supposed to hold it at 17? You are supposed to stay. On I'm. Oh, it's not called a hold. Stay. stay. I'm staying. Hold poker. Oh, yeah, hold poker. Stay. I. Well, we're learning. Okay, yeah. I'm right. I'm, 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 gonna stay. I'm staying. I'm going to stay on my 15. Also against the two. Six. 16. 16. What does that mean? Why is she tapped? 19. 19. That oh, means she lost. man. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. They both lost. It's okay. okay I, I Better think we do you, it now than okay. the players are I, yeah. I, I think you brought in a ringer dealer. <laughs> I'm just you saying. You want to play one more hand? And yeah. See? Let's, really quickly. It's almost time for a break. Let okay, me come back. Play. We're going to talk on. about there some beer. Go. One more let's bet, go. Adam. One more oh. bet. There we go. Here, let's right go. Let's do this. Let's do it. Because in real life, it kind of like, oh, three. Oh, oh, my gosh. You're going to make me think. Look at her go. Ooh. 19, 13. 13. I think I got. Let's 11. see what she has. Let's see what she has. Let's see. Oh. I, I have to go because it's 13. No, what? Six, you stay. I stay? Yeah. I'm staying again. Me, I'm staying. double down. I'm staying. Double down. 11. Go, 11. Double face 11. up. Face down. Face up. Boom. 21. Oh. 16. 16. 18. Woo. Winner, winner, chicken well, dinner. I have. I stayed. Yeah. Yes, because the six. The up. odds were are that way. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, I'm not a pro blackjack player. Just saying, but I love. I love the idea that you have this new pit thing. It's so not a thing. It's a pit, a real it's city. Fun. It's a party at the pit, and who doesn't like a party at the pit? Correct. We all totally do. Different than just playing I love blackjack. It. It's super okay. fun. So I got to tell you, it's about that time again. We're gonna take a break. When we yeah. come back. We're gonna be doing some beer chat. With Adam with revisions. So hang tight. It's about town Debbie City Talk. We'll be right back. Welcome to Calvin's Barbershop. You all got to see this. I don't even want to know what you're looking at on that phone. Well, you should. I was learning about the dangers of high blood pressure and that we need to get ours checked regularly. High blood pressure can increase the risk of heart attack or stroke, but this text program can help keep it at a healthy range. Just text Barbershop to 97779 to sign up. I'll get right on it as soon as I'm done with this baby panda video. <laughs> text Barbershop to 97779. A message from the American Heart Association and the Ad Council. Don't miss all the fun and excitement at the new rail city casino play over 40 new hot penny slots plus double down during the party at the pit blackjack every thursday through saturday from 6 p.m to 1 a.m and join us for bingo after dark every thursday through saturday night for your chance to win up to 1000 cash when you've worked up an appetite, visit the new Ale House for delicious specials to tantalize your taste buds. Visit the new Rail City Casino today. New slots, new games, and more chances to win. I spend a lot of time in the backyard, and I'm the center of attention at summer barbecues. In 96, I made some of the tastiest s'mores. And in 09, it was me, your backyard fire pit, that accidentally started a wildfire when a summer breeze carried one of my embers into some dry brush. Spark a change, not a wildfire. Visit SmokeyBear.com, brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Only you can prevent wildfires. Hope you enjoyed your meal. And I just want to say, he's lucky to have a brother like you. Lucky? Caring for my brother is far from easy. But he's a part of me, like my arms and legs, so I'll be his. No time for tired. Nothing can disable this love. He needs me, but I'm the lucky one, even though I need help now and then. If you're caring for a loved one, visit aarp.org caregiving for care guides and community. Support for your strength. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. What if I told you that a tornado was going to happen tomorrow right where you live? that it would touch down at exactly 3.17 p.m. and I told you the exact path it would take. You would, of course, prepare. You would talk with your loved ones and you'd make a plan today. It's true, I can't tell you a tornado will strike tomorrow, but shouldn't you have a plan anyway? Go to ready.gov communicate and make your emergency plan today. Don't wait, communicate. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. This is Mario Andretti. You know me as a race car driver. But I'm also a Meals on Wheels volunteer. I've raced against the sport's biggest personalities, but I've never met more vibrant, amazing people than the seniors served by Meals on Wheels. 
you can make a difference by dropping off a hot meal and saying a quick hello. So, America, let's do lunch. Volunteer your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. This message brought to you by Meals and Wheels America and the Ad Council. You're listening to Phoenix Media. Listen live and explore more great shows at phoenixmedia.us. You know that's what you said. Come on, let's have some fun with the About Town Deb. My town, your town, or any town, this is About Town Deb presents City Talk. Now, back to the show. And welcome back to City Talk. I am About Town Deb, a.k.a. Debbie McCarthy. As you can see, if you're just tuning in, we're at Rail City in Sparks, Nevada. And before I go further, Christian, I got to say thank you to my engineer, Phoenix Media. And Shane, we got to thank you. You're, you're, you have a techie dude that came in here and rescued us. So, Shane, we come on, Shane. Just come over and wave hi. Because you know what? Without Shane, you wouldn't be seeing us today. There is Shane right there. So, we're so grateful. Yeah, because on the set of City Talk, we always need tech help. So, if you're out there, we need some tech help. But, um, but without Christian, I wouldn't be anywhere. So we love phoenixmedia.us. So now, as you can see, tuning back in, we actually have some, we have a contest going on. We're going to do some tasting in a little bit. We have more beer. We have more beer. This more is beers, revision. More, more beers, more, more better. better. Revision <laughs> with Adam. So I'm going to let you, Todd, take this over because you, and you know what, before you do, tell, tell us about your spot you have also with your little media coverage you do, because you're a pro at this. I'm going to let you take over the second. So um, thanks to our friends at Nevada Sports Network, we actually are on uh, NSN Daily every Thursday, 4, 7, and 10, and we talk about weekly wagers, and really we pick pick games that I like to pick. Usually we focus on hockey when hockey's in season, because as Adam knows, I have hockey tattoos, and I'm a hockey fan, and I might be a Philadelphia Flyers fan. If you watch the show, you'll absolutely see it. And you can tell I'm a revision beer fan as well. Yes. Watch the show because there's a revision beer sign right behind me every time I shoot the show because we love it. Um, and that's really kind of how we got partnering with everybody in the community. We really focused on how do we grow Sparks business and how do we do that. And then um, Adam and I met when I when we first reopened the Alehouse in October of last year. And we just said, let's how do we let's figure out how we make this thing work. And so a bunch of stuff. As he said this past weekend, we gave away 575 four packs of Disco Ninja. Whoa, um, that's, that's a lot. lot. Yep, that's a lot of people coming in to get beer, and it's all casino customers that love to play here and love all our gifts. We do gifts every Saturday and every Thursday. Um, we thought Fourth of July, what better would be than be to give away some Disco Ninja beer, uh, hang out Fourth of July, and drink some beer. So that's really how the relationships come a long way. We've went over to the brewery, found some cool stuff. Um, there might be some of their uh, yeast coming in the pizza crust not before Ooh, too long. Oh, that's um, just exciting. There's a lot of really cool stuff we found we can do with those guys. And by the way, they have the best filtration system you've ever seen. And Adam can tell you how that goes. But it doesn't matter what the water that goes in, it's the perfect anywhere they go. Well, I love it. So, Adam, we're going to go right over to you. So, tell us a little bit about yourself and the whole. All about the beer, all about revision. I've been with the Revision Brewing Company for just over two years now. Um, it's been a rocket ship ride, but it's one of the greatest companies I've ever worked for in my life. Um, I have a great family over there that works together to bring uh, not just the uh, Reno Sparks community amazing beer, but um, we're in 18 states and 10 oh, countries well, now. I did not know that. Yeah, we're, that is a, and you're right here. Right here, right community? over on Rock Reno Boulevard. Sparks. Oh yeah. my gosh! Our brewmaster uh, Jerry, Jeremy uh, Warren and a bunch of our and our other the rest of our brew team make some of the best beers in the world. Quite literally, um, we have the awards to prove them. Um, but the best thing about our beers is, uh, is, is consistency and how fun it is. Because uh, we like to say we have a little bit of a rebellious spirit. Um, and we just love to have fun. And there's, you can see that in our artwork on our labels. Um, but like I've said, um, I've never heard a person say they've had a bad beer from Revision. And that all comes down to the hard work, dedication, and that consistency um, in, the, in the product. And that's why we do what we do. Um, we love to have fun. We love to meet people, talk to people people um one of our favorite sayings is we love to sell beer to one person at a time i love that and one person at a time that's how you meet people and that's how you learn their stories so well you know what it kind of goes good with my campaign together we are one heart and seriously together we are one one beer one sip one person one story yep. and when you're sitting around a barbecue or be on the kitchen table or you're outside the beach you have a sip of beer 
that's when stories are shared. You know, it's it's pretty cool. Absolutely. But I had no idea that you guys were at um, yeah. so many places. I just it's, it's been crazy because we we just hit four years old in March. Uh, wow. March 17th, and uh, that's crazy. we're growing we're growing fast, but we're doing it the right way, and we love what we do. So we love we love trying to get our beer to more people out there in different communities. Well, I I love that you support our local communities, number one. I think Absolutely. that's great. I mean, it's wonderful that you're all over the United States and the countries, that is that is incredible. But the fact that you are doing that and you still are here today giving back to your local community is really what matters. It, matter, it matters to us. So if you had to pick a favorite of your beers here, what would it be? Out of, I the, mean, out of uh, the beers here? Oh, or uh, you're out of the beers, not just here. Well, I, I, um, or how many fla how, is it flavors? What do you say? Styles? Style, I don't know. Styles, I'm learning. Yeah, I there's absolutely a ton of different styles. I'm just um, learning. Revision is very well known for making IPAs and hazy IPAs. So are IPAs the one that have that like tartness? Some do. Some have uh, our old older style IPAs are known to have a more of a bitterness to them. Yeah. Um, but we've become well known as being able to develop IPAs that are very well balanced. I like and that. Very, very hot forward, but balanced so well that people who've never had an IPA will still like it. I do IPA. like that. So, so what is your favorite thing? Well, I, uh, for two years before I got a job with my current company, of, um, I loved the IPA or this revision IPA has always been one of my favorite beers of all time. Which one is that? Which um, that would be the, yeah, the little bit darker of the two. You're not two. supposed to tell yet. Yeah. We're um, going to do a picnic. But there is another beer on the, on the tasting board that's called El Repaso that I have a special place in my heart for, but it's a, it's a Mexican style lager, which is crisp, clean, easy to drink, and a lot of fun to um, have part of your, you know, your holiday or your, you know, your dinner or whatever it may be. And it's just a great beer to drink. Okay. Well, I, I think we, you and I should do a sample because we're going to tell you what Deb's pick is. You, you hear me talking about wine and Tahoe blue and yeah. Frey ranch and, but you know what? I, and I love beer too. So let's, which should I we try? You, I think you should try which one. Which one? So I, I think what? Deb, you try the one on the far right. This one? Yeah. And then Todd's the same beer is on your back, back, back. Okay, end of the other one. Yep. Okay. That should be the El Repaso. Now uh, this now style lager. this one reminds me of a regular not like not too not um, not too oh, hoppy. Yeah. Is a great it's I a, love it. It's a so, lager, kind of like uh, like a Modelo. Yes, or I a, love Modelo or a Pacifico. In so that this sense. one is it's so far. Yeah. I like that one. I like that one. Then I would actually the next one to go with. I would go with the hazy beer. What's that no, one? The hazy first, the Disco Ninja. Oh, so oh, we already had that. Yeah. That one's uh, an unfiltered IPA. Okay, what does it mean, unfiltered? It means, uh, well, they just don't filter out um, a lot of the uh, parts of the brewing process. So it's unfiltered where when you see a clear IPA, they call it a clear beer. That's why you see the hazy. You, that's because everything's oh, filtered out. It was a hazy beer, you don't, you don't filter This is those. the same one. That's the same beer, okay. yeah. No. Um, but that, not filtering, it takes out a lot of that most of that bitterness and but you can still get a lot of that when you filter citrus it, aroma and, when you filter it takes out that taste it makes of it the, clear, clear. Uh, when you filter a beer because you're okay. taking out a lot of the uh, then this one the hops. here we so, go yes sir that would be uh, this is the regular ipa right yes so when you say regular so would this one have a west coast style IPA. so does ipa is that the hoppy one Yes, it's supposed That's, to be. I, I'm trying to learn yeah. my beer terms. Yeah. So, India what are the beer terms? India Pale Ale is a style. It's going to have a little more bitterness and a little, a lot more of that hop profile and aroma to it. Yeah. Okay. And then the last one will okay. be the dark beer, which is a, a porter called Porter Posse. It's going to be malty porter and posse. roasty. And have a little more uh, flavor to it, but that's more uh, of a seasonal now, beer. This one reminds me a little bit of. Um, hold on. Hold on. Beer test goes on. It reminds me a little bit of, and it might sound crazy, like a molasses, a chocolate, a yeah, coffee-ish. Yeah, you'll get a little coffee note or chocolate note, depending on how the, the mash and the malts and the barley. Um, but that is a more of a malty beer and not a lot, doesn't have that hot profile like an IPA does. I don't know. What is your favorite? My favorite's probably the original. Is that the original, original IPA? IPA? So that's wait. Oh wait, no, that one's that one. Yeah. So this this one is more like a Modelo yeah, or a and then see yeah, this one, good. but this the, it doesn't taste as hoppy as this. Right. That's because it, it's not filtered, so it, it leaves. I kind of like. Cuts out that bitterness. I don't want to be a copycat. I would say this one. I. I love Modelo. I love, I love, that's one. if I have to pick a beer that's that's not local, 
I only try to order local beer just to let you know. But if I'm a, at a restaurant traveling that doesn't have a local beer, then I go for a Modelo. But, but this one, I got to say, there's something about, I feel kind of fancy with this one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it's not bad. So there's a great story behind Disco Ninja. So Tell me the story when about we, that. When we first put in the sample in the ale house, um, we put all three of these. Uh, we actually put all three oh, of these. Do you have a sampler here? We do. This is a sampler you can get. These three for six bucks, you can get that deal. Oh my god! But when we first put in the first three, not the Disco Ninja, we talked about Disco Ninja and we wanted to do some fun stuff with Disco Ninja, so we put it on tap at the Ale House bar, now the pit bar, but we put it on there. And casino customers gravitated so much that when they're on the other side of the casino at the City Lights bar, we didn't have it. And they said, Get Disco Ninja on the other bar. We'd like to be over there too. So now it's on both bars. It's I that love popular. it. That is amazing. That's why we gave the giveaway. Customers just love the beer. Uh, we thought it was a great Fourth of July thing. It's just a beer that. Um, Unique people drink it because you'd think it'd be a hip, young, trendy thing, but the people in the casino all over the age group, all over the demographics are all drinking it, so it's very popular for our customers. Okay. Well, I so the winner is the, what's it called again? Disco Ninja? No, the no, the IP. Oh, you, no, this one. Oh, you the, like El Raposo. Like so. Oh, but you like the other one. I like I the original IP. So, yeah, I'm going with the... That more flavorful girly beer. I call it girly winners. beer. <laughs> They're all winners. Okay, we have less than two minutes. Let's deal a hand. Melody, let's do this. We're good. I've got oh look, oh my gosh, look at all these. What the heck? No, she's we're getting the important stuff. Okay. How come I got all these chips? I'm not okay. This means I'm gonna win this hand. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna win this hand. Here we go. Uh, I got a nine. I'm a little. Oh, you have a king. So far, so good. Ooh. Oh, look at you. Suited. Do I get a free T-shirt? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so tell us about that while she's dealing. Okay, suited so, win a T-shirt. So when you're playing and you hit a suited blackjack, you will get a pit T-shirt. I don't have a pit T-shirt, but you'll get a pit T-shirt. Okay. You can um, get one that. Per day. Say excuse me. Excuse We're gonna me, say I, excuse me because when you are GM and you're a family guy. It. He's gonna take it. So let's. You're you're on with me right now. Yes. So I, I'm staying. I guess I'm staying. Hit him. Hit him. Just hit him. Yeah. Same. Okay. Same. See you Thirty seconds. Let's go. Uh, Sixteen. Nineteen. I lost again. So with that, you know what though? I'm not lost because I love it here. We're gonna take another break. We come back. We're gonna have some fun. So it's about time to have a city talk. Be right back. Now more than ever, family matters, and Surratt Law Practice has your family in mind. Kimberly Surratt and her team have been helping maintain healthy families through their holistic approach to adoption and surrogacy, child custody, estate planning, and more for over 13 years. Your family law concerns are in caring hands with Surratt Law. Schedule your private consultation with a compassionate Surratt Law Practice team member today by calling 775-636-8200 or visiting LawyersForFamilies.com. Surratt Law, where family matters. That'll be $73.11. Do you have a charity that I can donate up to? You just did. But I didn't select any option. It happened just by using your credit card. We recently changed our payment processing to Gratis Gives, who not only saves our company a ton of money on processing fees, but also donates a portion of every purchase to a participating local nonprofit. Why doesn't every business do that? If they switch to Gratis Gives like we did, they can. Achieve real social change by contacting Gratis Gives at 855-464-7284 or online at gratisgives.com. Keyboard Cat, Hamilton the Pug, and Toast Meets World. These are some of the internet's most beloved pets. And they all have one thing in common. Their stories started in a shelter. Start your story. Adopt a dog or cat today. Visit theshelterpetproject.org to find a pet near you. Training that pet to play the keyboard, that's optional. Start a story. Adopt a shelter or rescue pet today. Brought to you by Maddie's Fund, the Humane Society of the United States and the Ad Council. Okay, what are you wearing right now? Nothing. That's right. So mommy's going to teach you how to dress yourself. Underwear always comes first. Name tag at the back, then pants, then shirt. Get the first button in the right hole or you have to start all over. Socks going first, then shoes right on right, left on left. With shoelaces, just take the ends, cross them over, switch the loops. The rabbit goes down the hole, pull tight, and left with bunny ears. Got it? Why are your pants on your head? Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. 
two minutes twice a day making sure they brush their teeth is easier and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Visit 2min2x.org to find out more. A message from the Partnership for Healthy Mouths, Healthy Lives, and the Ag Council. How's it going? I'm having a stroke. Are you going to shake my hand? I'm having a stroke. Wow, you're not even moving your arm. I'm having a stroke. When someone is having a stroke, they may not be able to say it with words, but their body language will tell you loud and clear. Look for FAST. F. Face drooping. A. Arm weakness. S. Speech difficulty. T. Time to call 911 immediately. Know the sudden signs. Spot a stroke fast. Visit strokeassociation.org. Brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. The storks are bringing me a baby brother. We can do this. Together. All right, let's go. Storks know how to keep kids safe. Do you? What? Oh, my gosh, you don't know. <gasps> I know. You don't. <laughs> oh, man, you laugh when you're uncomfortable. <laughs> no. Making sure your child is in the right car seat is one of the steps to safer travel. I will rock this. You will rock this. To know for sure that your child is in the right car seat for their age and size, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool, very cool. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. You're listening to Phoenix Media. Listen live and explore more great shows at phoenixmedia.us. Ready to help from her toes to her head. Just give her a shout. Call about town, Deb. My town, your town, or any town. This is About Town Deb presents City Talk. Now back to the show. And welcome back to City Talk. I am About Town Deb, your host. As you can see... We are at Rail City, Sparks, Nevada, with Todd, the GM. We have Adam here with Revisions Beer. I got to tell you, I, I don't know, I kind of liking your beer a lot, dude. A lot of people are. It's, uh, it's, it's a- really amazing. I'm really excited, and I love the idea that you're pairing food with it here. Absolutely. So I, I'm really excited about that. And also, I want to thank you as well. Um, well, before I thank you, happy birthday again. So Melody, not the birthday guy yet. No, so Melody, <laughs> can you go grab a bag over there? This is your birthday. Uh oh. You know what? You can't. Does it say older than dirt on it? No, it no, says, says thirty nine, Todd. Thirty nine. You look good for thirty. Melody, thank you. Our little van That's my here. Years. So we're just... years of thirty nine. So go ahead and open that. Go ahead and open your present. Just stand up and open that present. Uh, well, first, open that first. You. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I am a red wine person. Todd, Todd, Deb, wine. Always great. And I signed the bottle. Happy birthday, Todd. And we have a wine tumbler. It, nice. it says, corks are for quitters. Corks are for quitters. <laughs> and then we have another one. Yes, it does. Open it. And then this. So Todd has to share this with the beautiful melody, just so you know. I did not want to leave you out. And this one says, wine is like... Here we go. Wine is like duct tape and fixes everything. So can you tell whose is whose? Yeah. (laughs) Melody over here is like not only amazing blackjack dealer, she fixes everything around the house. That's why that's for you. Just say it. And what is this so this is, you know, Michael and Crystal Basin, yes. you can move that. Okay. This is, you know how, like, you know, when you're out in your boat, you're partying, you can just go like this and have this wine. And this one is called, where's my, oh, I think we all, where's my fun? So it says WTF, where, WTF no, where's the fun? And this is a 2011 El Dorado red wine. So Mike Owen has a bunch of these, and I just thought this was really fun because you guys, you know, get on your motorcycles and, and, you know, you do a lot of fun stuff and, you know, you play hockey and, you know, after the game, you could just say, hey, guys, let's have some. But anyway, I was I knew that you liked red wine. It's a red red blend. But you both, when you're not working, you know, what do you like to do when you're not working? Rest? Eat cheese and drink wine. I know. So, But I figured... We would just give you a little crystal base of love as well. Adam, does WTF stand for? What the fun? fun? <laughs> yes. Uh, looks like a good beer label, too. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, before we go on, I just wanted to tell you. Thank you so much. Thank you because, you know, you're like you joined in right away and, you know, but not just sponsor wise, but friendship wise and Melody. I just felt so at home the moment I walked into Rail City. And you too will feel that way. It is the new Rail City. And Todd and his team have taken great heights and love and care to make this your home. So please 
you got to give it a shot if you haven't been here. So we're going to have a little bit of fun, thanks to my amazing intern, Sienna. I'm going to ask some questions. You know the answer. So Adam and I, we're going to try to guess. So okay. here we go. Let's just get on with this. Here we go. What was Rail City before coming a casino? What was it before I, a I think casino? you know. I can I tell. Know. Um, I would say. <laughs> what was it before? Don't. You can't answer, Melody. <laughs> What, what was, was Rail City, City before a casino? Um, it must have been some kind of rail depot or something Ooh, like that on depot. the train tracks. Okay. Oh, riding the rails, riding baby. The rails. Okay. <laughs> so it, it was a rail. Uh, it was a, a train here. station. I'm, I'm going to go with train station. Sorry, I'm stealing it. Train station sounds great and exciting, but it used to be a furniture store. Of all <laughs> oh, I would not you have to tried a furniture to throw store. Me out. I know. Yeah. You tried. I did not know that. Yeah, okay. It used to be a furniture store. Awesome. And okay. The, for those of you that little another little bit of trivia, there was a second floor, and we do not have, a, have an elevator to get to the offices because oh. it was grandfathered in as a furniture store. There you go. You know what? I actually went up to the office. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's no elevator. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Another question. This this one we're gonna have to really guess on this one. Okay. What was the amount that Mega Jackpot? Wait. What was the amount that Mega Jackpot hit in Rail City? What was the amount? There that was a mega jackpot at Real City. What was the amount what that year it, hit? Was it hit? What year was it? Do you know? Well, that's the next question. You oh, got to guess the amount right. first. Uh, okay, okay. I'm going to say 14.5 million. Wow. I'm going to say 10.2 million. Wow. They're calling it low. It was 33 million. Oh, my wow. gosh. The second largest mega box in the history of mega box happened at Real City. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Are you serious? That's great history. Absolutely. Lots of winners here. Yep. Big ones, too. Yep. Oh my gosh! That are you serious? Very serious. And when did that hit? It hit. Um, we're just gonna let him tell us because we're not gonna guess it, that. It was. It was two thousand nine. That's not that long Some ago, of us guys. Glasses for notes. It's okay. Put your glasses on. And it was on. April twelfth. April twelfth, two thousand nine. Oh, and right before tax day. And it so was does a that... resident on top of Oh, the that's even better. Absolutely. I love that better. Okay, here we go. The building that was removed. Due to the extension of the old rail city. Wait, what is that question? So it's the building that the, was removed to, the do, to do in, the extension. The part of the building we're in right now was actually the expansion. Um, we are in the new casino versus the old casino. What was the building that was taken down? A church. No, no church. I don't know. A bar. A bar? <laughs> I think it's actually unknown. Uh, I'm calling it an ice cream shop just yeah. because it sounds Oh, fun. I like yeah. that. I can, I like that. Yeah, okay. An ice cream shop. Yeah. It means we should start serving ice cream. Okay. I, oh, Soft my. Cream. Oh, yeah. Right? Local ice cream. Yeah. Or make Absolutely. your own. Would you make your own? I would if we could get the team for it. Yeah. We'd have a lot of fun. Okay. We might have some revision beer and ice cream. Yeah. Or that maybe some red cool. wine and ice cream. That just too. throwing some that out there. Or some cream. what the fun <laughs> in there, too. Okay. Beer floats. Beer yeah, floats. Oh, like yeah. a roof. Oh, is there such a thing as a beer float? Absolutely. Tell us yeah. about a beer float. That's what we're doing this last segment, having some fun. Yeah. Just put an amazing scoop or two of ice cream and an amazing beer, and hopefully you put them together well for the right taste. Oh, you know yeah. what? <laughs> if you put chocolate ice cream with that darker one, that, water, water? Yeah. that might. Oh, do you it have any chocolate like ice cream in the house? Yeah, it sounds like you got a John challenge now. We're gonna I got a challenge. What beer would you like to pair with some ice cream? He might have to go to Revision's tap room and test a bunch oh, can, of them. <gasps> yeah, can we do? Oh, wait a minute. We should do a show there and do a t an ice cream and wine pairing. We, can we do can't do wine because he's fun. beer. We yeah. can only do a beer. We can do some barrel aged stouts, though. Yeah, oh, those are very good. I like, like that. Those. I like that. Yeah. So, a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. <laughs> okay. Well, before we get to the end, I'd love you all, both of you, to share what your websites, where exactly are you located, and how can we get out much more information about all you guys? Uh, you can just go to revisionbrewing.com um, to check us out. Uh, you can also just go to 380 South Rock Boulevard right off um, Rockenheimer to come check us out in person. So uh, you can go in person? Absolutely. Do you have, like, tours? Can you taste there? Um, we don't give tours all but the time. But can you taste yeah, there? absolutely. There's a tap room. There's a large um, a large uh, portion inside and within the tap room. So there's there's games. You can do cornhole. You can play pool and video games. You can just sit oh, there see, and I did not hang know out that. and watch TV. Um, you can hang out with your friends, and then we also have, we do groups. We do all sorts of stuff. So there's a lot of it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of artwork all over the brewery. Okay, well, be, so artwork. Being that July is Art Town, yep. do you have anything? So maybe this is a good time to come check out the art. 
do you know who the art's from or is it well, local? Well, I mean, all of our labels are from different artists that we've uh, hired from all over the world, um, from Brazil all the way up to Washington, the state of Washington. Well, can you, you have anything here we can, is there any there? There's That's, a new one. There's this a is new a, one? one of our newer, this is our uh, fourth anniversary beer. Um, that is wow. an artist that Jeremy found uh, as a... Um, one of his, I think his lady friend, uh, Ali's uh, friend, was the artist that they found to do that label. Um, we have labels, like I said, made from a gentleman in Brazil, um, oh people gosh. in Portland, yeah. Oregon, all over. And we have a couple local artists that have done some stuff for us, too. So it's just, uh, we love pairing art with beer. So. And you also said music? Yeah, we have, uh, there's music playing all the time. We, we have live music uh, parties. Uh, now that COVID's over, we have a couple coming up um, in the next couple months. So I love it's it. just a lot of fun to c come check out the brewery. And you have a Facebook page. Uh, we I'm do. I'm sure. I yep. know I've we're liked on it. on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Um, we're all over the place. So it's Twitter hard not as to well. find us. Twitter as well. Twitter, Twitter as well. well. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Oh, I, I am and so LinkedIn. excited. And, and LinkedIn. LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to go. That should be one yeah, of our adventures. Yep. We yeah. should go and we should play around with some. We can bring our own ice cream and do yeah. our own have some fun. That's right. Absolutely. So, Todd, your turn now. So, railcity.com, all the information you ever need. Um, we're also on Instagram at Rail City Casino. Um, we're on Facebook, Rail City Casino. And then you can also find me at Rail City Todd. Um, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter. Twitter's really the main spot I use to get stuff out. Um, it seems to be a little bit more real time, especially with the sports betting and things like that. All the picks I love and stuff. how you do that. They, That's they, cool. they can't get out there in game, all of that fun stuff on Twitter is just easier. So look for me on Twitter at Real City Todd. But I have to say, your Instagram and your Facebook, you guys are rocking, sharing with the community what is happening. And I also want to thank, I know both of you, I've seen you out and about at different events, but you know, you literally, you joined our community, you got involved, and you said, hey, what's happening? And the minute I even invite you, you know, to anything with Melody, you guys are there, you're the first ones there. So a high five. Let, let's do a cheers to all of us for loving our community. Yep. It's almost Reno time. Sparks is where it's Reno at. Sparks is where it's at. And as about town, Deb, my town, your town, any town, let's connect. I'm happy to be connected with Adam and with Todd and Melody. We love you for um, filling in today, doing our dealing. And next week, I am going to be, you will not believe where I'm going to be. Ah, I'm going to be at Greenhorn Ranch. I'm going to be at a dude ranch. About town, Deb is going to be at a dude ranch, riding cowboys and fly fishing. Riding it's gonna, cowboys? Uh, yeah, baby. Well, no, the horse, not the cowboy. I knew he was going to pull that. I'm not riding them. I'm riding a horse. The horse is is, isn't there a song, Ride a Cowboy, Save a Horse? No, Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Yeah. Either That's way, it. we're going to be rocking That's that. It. We just love you. It's About Town Devastating Talk. 